Uh, hello everyone, we are live in Sandusky tonight. Um, if you can see just over my shoulder, that was the Sandusky Theater. It is uh, completely almost destroyed from the storm damage. Uh, I'm Jordan Strack. We are with uh, Chris, who is uh, you're the executive director yes. for the State Theater. Um, just kind of give us an idea. What is it that you know right now? Uh, we just know that a storm hit the building. Um, it's uh, a devastating loss. Um, but Sandusky's very supportive of the arts, supportive of the theater, and, and we know eventually we'll be able to bounce back. Where are, are the emotions at for you when you first came down and you, you saw the building destroyed? all over the place. Um, first thing is we wanted to make sure that nobody got hurt and fortunately there was nobody in the building or around it. So um, a after that, um, we're still just trying to process our emotions and the damage and um, what is this see where we're at. What does this theater mean to this town? It's the cultural hub of Sandusky and of Erie County. It's a 1500 seat vaudeville house that's been standing since 1928. So. Um, hopefully we'll be able to save part of the building and, and uh, get back open again eventually. Give us uh, an idea of some of the events that would take that take place here inside the inside the theater. Oh, we have we have Broadway national tours. We have concerts. Um, we just had UB40. We had Jamie Johnson and Travis Tritt scheduled. Uh, we do children's educational workshops. You, you name it. Anything you can do in a the theater, we do. Comedy, jazz, everything. Chris, I'm just really sorry. Thank you so much, though, for taking some time. And, and luckily, nobody was hurt. That's the most important part Absolutely. right now. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Appreciate it. Uh, that is Chris. He's the executive director here uh, of the Sandusky Theater. I'm going to turn this thing around so you guys can see here uh, some of the damage. There is heavy, heavy machinery coming through right now. Trying to pick up the pieces here in Sandusky. Uh, as he said, this is a, a historical building in this town. Um, this is obviously a very difficult loss. Can I grab you real quick? This is the city manager here in Sandusky. Um, what is it that you know at this point? That Obviously, you and I talked this a little, just a couple seconds ago, but what is it that you know at this point? We just know there was a microburst that hit the back of the theater. It looks like the roof collapsed into the auditorium. Uh, we've stabilized the site. Fortunately, no one was inside, and we don't believe there are any injuries. Um, what else around the city is damaged that you know of right now? We've heard of some small structural fires, likely down electric wires, and a lot of down trees. We have not heard of any other significant damage or injuries, fortunately. Um, seeing a, a cultural icon in this town go down like this and be in this, this uh, shape right now, um, where are the emotions at when you see that? It's heartbreaking. You know, the State Theater is the cultural center of our city, but that being said, uh, we're a resilient town, and we're going to pull together, and we're going to rebuild and, and be better than ever. Uh, you know, the first step is to make sure everybody's safe, but we're very confident in our community that we're going to rebuild this thing and be and, and, and be stronger. Thank you so much. I Thank appreciate you. it. Yep, Thank you. Uh, so we're in Sandusky. Um, I, I would love to be able to go closer. Uh, as you can see, there is police tape all around. There is um, there's a lot of work being done right now uh, here to the uh, State Theater in Sandusky. As I mentioned, um, the building over my shoulder, you can see it was I'll give you an idea here. That was the top of the building, and it went over this way. That is all completely destroyed at this point. Yeah, we are in Sandusky, Ohio. Uh, we were over in Port Clinton a little bit ago. Uh, there was storm damage there as well, trees down, power lines down, that very similar story uh, here in Sandusky as well. Now, we are gonna get to work on putting together a story for tonight's 10 and 11 o'clock news. Um, we will certainly have updates for you here from the Sandusky Theater coming up tonight. Thanks so much for watching.